I hereby call the full city council for December 23rd, 2019 to order. Please stand and salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, please stay standing. Councilor Azak, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to um, just acknowledge um, the Honorable Judge George N. Azak, who passed away a week before his 95th birthday, which is um, Christmas uh, Day. He was a uh, he was honorable, he was in very highly intelligent, and just a kind person. So um, it's a great loss to the uh, Lebanese American community as he was uh, the first Lebanese judge in Massachusetts. And we're all very proud of him, proud of what he's accomplished, and um, we'd just like to send our condolences to his family. May he rest in peace. Can we take a moment of silence? Absolutely, Councillor. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Councillor. Our thoughts and prayers to his family. He was a great public servant and a great judge. So thank you, Councillor. Um, Councillors, before we go into the agenda tonight, we have a special guest, and everybody knows uh, Pat Jeremella. Uh, Pat, if you could come forward, please. <laughs> Councillors, we have an official citation uh, for Pat, and he's, he's joined by Mary Waldron, uh, who is now the Executive Director of Oak Colony Planning Council. But as you know, Pat, for 42 years, he was employed at OCPC. And as the City of Brockton official citation, be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby its, extends its congratulations to Pasquale Pat Cheramella in recognition of his employment by OCPC for 42 years. He has been progressively promoted and has served as transportation planner, transportation program manager, and assistant executive director of Old Colony Planning Council. And in 2001, he has served as OCPC Executive Director for 18 years. Be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success in your retirement, Pat, and that this citation be duly signed by the pre President of the City Council and attested to in a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk, Mr. Zioli, of the Council. It's dated today and it's offered by myself as the President on behalf of the entire Council, December 23rd, 2019. Pat, congratulations. Okay, I just want to thank everybody for all your support over the years. It's been, it's been an honor for me not only to live in Brockton, but also to work in Brockton right across the street from the City Hall. i really like to thank everybody. Uh, we had some great partners in the City of Brockton, including the City Council, the Mayor of Brockton, the Chamber of Commerce. But I want to especially thank you, Mr. President, uh, for all your support over the years. I've known you for like 20 years or so now. I just want to thank everybody. This is an honor. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm sure Mary's going to continue on with the same uh, assistance <laughs> to everybody. Um, uh, I'm really honored. Thank you so much. Yeah, we want to thank you. You're a true gentleman at all times. Yeah. Uh, you're really an example of what a public servant in the city of Brockton should do. And we wish you the best in retirement. And we thank you for your service. Thank you. Well Merry Christmas to you and your family, Pat. Um, counselors, we're going to go on to the agenda. We do have a pretty uh, lengthy agenda tonight, counselors. And then, of course, it's caucus night as well, and, and Santa's here. He has a busy couple nights coming up, so <laughs> time is of the essence. Mr. Clerk, please. We have an acceptance of the minutes of December 2nd, 2019, special city council meeting, hearing set the tax rate for fiscal 20. Accepted and placed on file. The acceptance of the minutes of the December 9th, 2019, city council meeting. That, too, is accepted and placed on file. The petition of Verizon New England, Inc. requested permission to locate poles, wires, cables, and fixtures, including the necessary anchors, guys, and other such sustaining, protecting fixtures to be owned and used in common by your petitioners along and across the following public way, all ways, on Kenwood Street. This petition proposes to install plot 178-3S, Kenwood Street, approximately 68 feet subtly from the center line of Irvington Street. 
This work is required to remove a tree guy. Constance, before I open this up, I do want to recognize, of course, our mayor, Mayor Rodriguez. Thank you for being here. And our, our three new colleagues, uh, two at-large counselors, uh, Rita um, and, and Tina, and of course, uh, the ward new, soon to be Ward 5 Councilor, Mr. Thompson. Thank you all for being here. Happy holidays. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward. Anyone here from uh, utility company? No? Why don't we uh, entertain a motion, Mr. Cruz, and we'll put this at the end of the matter. Make Maybe a they're motion late. this to the end of the, uh, the, end of the evening. Sure, thank you, Councilor. There's a motion made. We're just going to put this off until the end. It was properly seconded. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. We'll take number three at the end of the meeting. Mr. Clerk, we'll move on. Petition of Giuliano Angeles, 15 Bradford Street, Rockland, for transfer of garage license located at 800 Center Street, Brockton. In City Clerk's Office, October 7, 2019. Hearing is signed for December 23rd. Uh, 2019 at 7 p.m. Time out arrive. I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward to the podium. Good evening. How are you, gentlemen? Good. Good. If you could state your name for the uh, for the record, please. Jonathan Weiner. Uh, Giuliano Angels. What 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 is this? Ward five. These gentlemen have been in front of license commission earlier this um, season. Season. Do you have any, any comments on this, Council? Uh, no, it's just a tra it was simply a transfer, and the young man and that is going to take over has been working in this industry and already has another business. So it um, it went very smoothly at license, and unless um, anything else has surfaced, that they they anticipated that there would not be any problems, and um, they had been um, visited by the fire department and the police department for the lines and any other such concerns. Excellent. Thank you, Council. Any other councils have any questions? Seeing none, anyone else here in favor? Third and final time, if you're here in the chamber, please come forward if you're in favor. Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here tonight in opposition? Third and final time, opposition, that part of the hearing is closed. The matter now comes before us. If you want to grant the transfer, please kindly raise your hand. If you do not want to grant it, raise your hand. It carries. It's hereby granted. Thank the you, gentlemen. Stay. stay. You can just stay there. We got stay. you again. Got to stay. <coughs> On to the next stay. agenda, please. <laughs> Rockland Mass DBA LA used cars for transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 800 Center Street, Rockland. In City Clerk's Office, October 7, 2019. Hearing is signed for December 23, 2019 at 7 p.m. <clears throat> time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come to the podium. State your name again, gentlemen. Jonathan Weiner. Giuliano Angels. Thank you, Councillor. And once again, this has been the same way for a good 20 years now. 28 years, yeah. 28, okay. And um, so I don't see there won't be any changes that will be visible to anyone or anyone, uh, those um, customers having any sort of transactions. It's just a name, a new owner with the same procedures and policies as in the past. Thank you, Councillor. Any other councillors here have any questions? Seeing none. Um, anyone else here in favor, third and final time? Anyone here in favor? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in the chamber in opposition? Third and final time, that part of the hearing is closed. The matter now comes before us. If you'd like to grant it, please raise your hand. If you do not want to grant it, raise your hand. It's hereby granted. The transfer is hereby granted. Thank you. Thank Happy you. holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah. Number six, please. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of December 16, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. The Real Estate Committee for its meeting of December 16, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Acting Chief of Police requesting authorization to expend initial grant monies in the amount of $15,000 received through <coughs> fiscal 2020 traffic enforcement grant program funds from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research, Highway Safety Division. Accepted and placed on file. The communication from the mayor recommending this. That too, council is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the emergency management director requesting authorization to accept and expend the grant awards in the amount of $25,600 for mass emergency management fiscal 2019 EMPG grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency. Fiscal 2019 EMPG grant fund 
The grant funds will be used to purchase a new equipment trailer, radio equipment, ID printer, and lighting trailer. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending this. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the site. That too counts as accepted and placed on file. Communication from the emergency management director. Request an authorization to accept and expend the grant award in the amount of $3,388 for Mass Emergency Management 2019-2020 HMEP grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency 2019-2020 HMEP grant fund. This funding will be used to purchase office supplies and equipment. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. That too, accepted and placed on file. Out of that the sum of $5,457,233 is appropriate to pay various capital costs as set forth including the payment of all costs incidental related thereto, 70 departments, 650000 5 department, $1,260,000. Information technology total 448,000. Water department total 1,126,233. And parks and recreation totals $1,973,000. In council, November 12, 2019, read and referred to standard community finance. That report was favorable. Councilors, uh, you can order after this. Yep. Councilors, I just want to give you some information on this because time is of the essence and the bond itself. Um, uh, needs to be passed so that the certain items, including two fire trucks, be purchased. Uh, it was brought to my attention, and we did speak to both the CFO uh, and also uh, uh, legal counsel. Um, there has to be a 10-day notice period because it's a borrowing relative to the bond. Um, so we're going to pass this tonight, hopefully, to a third reading because time is of the essence. We need to do that. It will then be uh, published in the Brockton Enterprise. And then uh, my last official act as the city council president will be I'll have to call a special meeting for the sole purpose of doing a final vote because of a borrowing. And the clerk, I met with the clerk as well, a borrowing requires the 10 day notice. I've spoke to legislative council. If anybody has any questions, we can't waive that. We don't have the authority to waive the 10 day notice. Yeah. Um, correct? Well, you best add to that that you may not have time to get your 10 days in there because it has to be advertised in the newspaper. And the newspaper does not accept the ads the day that we call them, and it's generally a one, two, or four-day waiting period. So it's well, we're hopeful we're, contingency. So. We're hopeful, counselors, because again, this is extremely important for the fire department and, and, and other endeavors. Um, but when I met with the CFO, uh, I believe the calculation was Friday the third. Is that correct, Mr. Clarkson? You can't go into January. There's some talk about going into January. We're gonna we're gonna no take a quick session. recess, counselors. Two-minute recess. Councilors, we're back in out of recess. Councilors. He's the bestest. Councilors, okay. the sole purpose before us right now is a question on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. Uh, and then, and then um, again, we're going to abide by the standard, which is 10 days. And if the enterprise works with us and we meet that standard, then as the president of the council, I'll call a special meeting for that sole and distinct purpose. Um, we'll need to uh, work uh, tomorrow with the enterprise, it being Christmas Eve, but we'll be hopeful. Um, question is on uh, passage to a third reading by a hand vote. All in favor of third reading? All opposed? It's passed to a third reading. We'll move on to the next item, please. Order that the mayor be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land consisting of 2,609 square feet, more or less, located at 700 Oak Street, owned by Brockton Oak Street, LLC, more particularly described as parcel A, as shown on plan of land, Oak Street, Brockton, Mass., dated January 11, 2019, <coughs> and recorded with the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds in Plan Book 63, page 661, on June 28, 2019. Said conveyance will correct an encroachment of the city sidewalk upon a property owned by the Brockton Oak Street, LLC. In Council, December 9, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Bowman? Yes. Bowman? Yes. Bowman? Yes. 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 Yes.
Go on to the next item, please. Item acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $150,000 for Mass Department of Environmental <coughs> Protection Clean Water State Revolving Fund grant fund. <clears throat> in council December 9, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Monian? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. Board is here by ordained. Order that the mayor and or treasurer collector be authorized to execute <coughs> any and all documents necessary to convey the property consisting of 2,009 square feet located and known as plot 16-3, zero center street, parcel ID 152-022 to Gregory Jamal, 65 Manchester Street, Brockton, Mass. For the purchase price of $1,000, said property to be sold under the abutter lot program Program and to be sold with a permanent non-buildable restriction. Said property shall also merge with the budding lot of the purchaser. End Council, November 12, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report was favorable as amended. Causes the question first is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? All opposed, amendment carries. The question uh, is now on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Council. May I just Absolutely, speak for Council. a moment? Thank you. On the motion, um, as the chair of the real estate committee, I just want to report to the council that we met last Monday evening and discussed this matter. Gregory Jamo, the applicant, came and, and uh, spoke to us as well. And um, the amendment had to do with we want this work completed within six months of our vote this evening. Um, specifically, we wanted to merge the, in, the abutting lot to emerge into the current lot so they're all listed on one deed. Thank you for that information, Thank Councilor. You. Thank you very much. So, uh, questions on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Will the clerk kindly read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. <clears throat> the order is ordained as amended. Ordered that the Brockton City Council remove their order of June 24, 2002, regarding parcel ID 087-086 David Street, that declared lot as a non-buildable so that possible development may take place. In Council, January 22, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. Um, Excuse Mr. Me. President. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mr. President, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that report was unfavorable. Okay, thank you. That's unfavorable, I, strike I just, that. Yes, I just wanted to say, again, as, as a chair of the Real Estate Committee, we met on this last attention. year. Our secretary, Marty Brophy, informed me that this was around since 2018, and it had not been resolved. And so um, in that span of time, the person who was interested in it is no longer interested in it. We voted unanimously to recommend this unfavorably. Thank you for that information. Thank, Thank you, you <clears throat> Council. Madam now before us. Roll call, please. ASAC? No. Beauregard? No. Cruz? No. Darrencourt? No. Ian Airy? No. Farwell? No. Lally? No. McGeary? No. Monaghan? No. Nicastro? No. Sullivan? No. That's 11 in opposition. <clears throat> the order is not Thank ordained. You. Councilors, I want you to know that I was just checking to see if you were paying attention to me. <laughs> That's all. <Off> the job. <laughs> Ordered accepting the expenditures of the grant of art in the amount of $15,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2020 Traffic Enforcement Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. Council Fowler. Mr. President, I was asked by the Police Department to request suspension of the rules and act on this this evening. Second. 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 Motion made properly second to act on the a suspension of the rules. All in favor of that? All opposed? That carries. Just, just for the record, Councilors, the reason is that some funding from this grant has to be expended by December 31st or we will lose a portion of the funding. So the Police Department's plan is to do some traffic enforcement between now and certainly on uh, New Year's Eve. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, with that being said, the question now is on adoption um, by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. 
Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Monahan? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is hereby ordained. Order and acceptance President of the- move for reconsideration and hopes does not prevail. Motion for reconsideration is properly seconded. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, raise your hand. All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not Thank prevail. You. Thank you, Order. Councilor. Mr. President. Accepted expenditures of the grant of all. Lally. Whoops. I, I'd like to move to take items 23 and 24 collectively and to act on, uh, under the suspension of the rules. Deal Second. With tonight. Second. There's a motion on the floor. It was properly seconded to take 23 and 24 collectively. Uh, all in favor of taking them collectively? All opposed? It carries. And now to take them both uh, under suspension of the rules. Uh, all in favor? Opposed, it carries. Accepted the expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $15,000 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division Fiscal 2020 Traffic Enforcement Grant to Brockton Police Department Fiscal 2020 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund. Acceptance of expenditures in the grant award in the amount of $25,600 from Mass Emergency Management Fiscal 29 2019 EMPG grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency, fiscal 2019 EMPG grant fund. Acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $3,388 from the Mass Emergency Management 2019-2020 HMEP grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency 2019-2020 HMEP grant fund. Uh, now, counselors, the uh, matter comes before us uh, collectively. Uh, if the, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? Uh, both matters are hereby ordained. We got to go back, counselors, to see if uh, number three. Is there a representative here from Verizon? Yeah. Looks like Council Cruz had something. Huh? What's, the, what's the will of the council on this? What word is this? Kenwood? Word oh, four. four. Four, right? Word four. Do we know anything about this? I don't. Um, well, this I think it's being, I think it's happening in conjunction with um, Trinity Baptist Church selling two lots of land and two houses being erected on it. And as part of, I think, taking down um, what used to be a school at Trinity Baptist Church, this, this pole is right in front of us. They word, want to Council, take down a your tree. Call. It's Pardon? your call, if, if it's your word, your call, if you want us to move forward because it's the last official city council meeting or do you want it to go into the next legislative session and have to I be I think refiled? I'd like it to move forward. Okay. Councilors, the ward councilors respectfully asked. I'm not gonna object as president. Any objection on that? Seeing none, we'll move on now. So now uh, the question is on, oh, number 25 has to be read. I'm sorry, <laughs> Councilor, uh, Clerk. Maybe we're doing great tonight, aren't we? I'm, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not a because I'm not feeling so well. So if I fall asleep up there, you will know. But I have a nurse, so I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> the grantor to provide New England, Inc. requested permission to locate poles, wires, cables, and fixtures, including the necessary anchor, guys, and other such sustaining and protecting fixtures to be owned and used in common by your petitioners <coughs> along and across the following public way of ways on Kenwood Street. This petition proposes to install plot 178 3 s Kenwood Street approximately 68 feet southerly from the center line of Irvington Street. This work is required to remove a tree guy. Questions on granting by hand vote. All in favor? All opposed? It's hereby granted. Councilors, a couple things. Uh, relative to council's recognition. Um, on behalf of the city council, we want to wish everybody a happy Hanukkah uh, that celebrates. Um, it started uh, sun Sunday night, and of course, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So on behalf of the city council, we're gonna wish everybody uh, a Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year. And if you celebrate Kwanzaa, that as well. Um, councilors, I do want to uh, take the time um, to actually have Katie come up because- Oh, you gotta step you got to the microphone. No, Get another microphone, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> I just evening. figured after uh, 30 plus years of being embarrassed by Santa, it was my turn to kind of flip that and embarrass him <laughs> and get him back. But then he showed up dressed like Santa, so <laughs> he always has the, the last hand. But thank you for what you do for this city.
Council, this is uh, this is actually the last official City Council meeting. Um, we do want to thank Council at Large uh, McGarry um, for his service uh, and his expertise. Um, we do also want to uh, thank uh, Council at Large uh, Gene Bradley Derencourt. We want to thank uh, the Ward Council um, from Ward Five uh, and Beauregard. And I just want to say, after 14 years, it's it's been a pleasure and an honor to work with you and work for you to better the city. Um, we're in good hands here with. Uh, people that are going to be joining this esteemed board. Mr. Dean. If I might, Mr. Absolutely. If I might, Mr. President, I, I just want to take a couple of, uh, couple of seconds as well to, um, to say goodbye, I guess, to some of those that, that are departing. And uh, I guess I've had the uh, fortunate of, of, of being here for some time. And uh, I've, I've seen some come and go. And some people wondered how I got the name Dean. If you look back at the picture that was taken in 2004 and five, you'll find that I'm the last man standing in that portrait. Um, <laughs> some passed and, and some are still with us. But uh, in any case, I, I do want to thank Mr. McGarry for uh, serving um, when time was needed during this past five and a half months and uh, appreciate the fact that you were uh, right there and you stepped right up front and wanted to be a part of it. Um, I know you, you know you were home for retirement and, and other things transpired as well, but still it kept you busy and um, I know you were, uh, as, as the former city council from Ward 3, um, I know you were there and watching, um, you were watching me, I know that, and, and, oh, but uh, it, <laughs> okay Santa Claus. <laughs> but in any case, I do want to say thank you, John, for, for being a part of it and, and coming here and, and discussing some issues that uh, were, were very important. At the same time, I also want to thank um, the city council at large, uh, uh, Councilor Darren Court, for uh, for he being uh, a part of the process the last couple of years. Um, I totally have to say, uh, I would have hoped and anticipated that maybe you'd still be here for a few more years, but you, you looked at it a different way when you came here, and that's okay. And uh, I'm sure you learned some lessons about the political process, and I don't think you've gone away. I think you're going to be back at some point in time, and, and I know you will be, and, and you do a good job. And like I said to you, and you seem to always have it in your head, once a president, always a president, and he still calls me president, so said, he's, he's a good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> I do have to. I do have to turn to my right because uh, Council Borgard and I have been friends for many years, mm -hmm. and there was many times when uh, I used to get word back from my other fellow councilors, and when he, when I even served as council president, that you know you, you got to be careful how you treat Ann. I said, well, I'm I'm used to Ann, and, and she's used to me, and there was nothing. There was nothing taken by it, Ann, was there? I don't think Not so. Not really. I don't. No. I don't think so. I'm because, tough. Because I I always said one thing about Ann. She is tough. She, <laughs> she's, she's been around, too. Oh, and, really? And the, lately, since I've been home and retired, I'm in the process of cleaning out some of my things in my cellar, my old political thing, and I happen to come across oh, no. Ann Beauregard, candidate for Ward 5 School Committee, 1999. 20 years She ran ago. against me. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the first oh, interview. Oh, when we had the first okay. interview, somebody asked her, I think it was Mark Lindy, and why are you running? Well, I didn't want to see him run alone, so I thought I'd run with him. <laughs> I says, well, thank you for that, and I appreciate that I did win. She didn't, but that's okay. But one thing with Ian, um, and it shows even today, when you, when you look at what she's done in the city to what she was doing back then, she's been everywhere, to be truthful with you. There isn't anywhere she'd be. And, and, and we noticed that in the last, just in this last uh, you know, term and in the first term as well, that. She could go from Ward 1 to Ward 7, and, and, and you know, she could run into quicksand and still get out of it. And if the rest of us were following, we'd probably be, we'd, we'd die in the quicksand, and she'd probably look back and say how foolish they were to follow me. But <laughs> in any case, um, I thought you'd like to have that, Ian. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Just as a little momentum of, of uh, when, when you really started. Keep all these things. In any case, I, I did want to uh, say a, a good thank you to them, to you, Mr. President. You and I have been friends for a good many years. You've been a part of the process here, and, and you and I have worked together well over the last uh, 14 years. We've had differences like anyone has, but they've been clean and cut differences, and he would always take me out for uh, a cup of coffee uh, the next day, and, and, and that's how everything would turn. I do want to take time to, um, and I think we, we have to give you the honor, the privilege, the fact that you know you had 14 years as city council at large, and somewhere in your, in your dream and your thoughts, you wanted to be a mayor and, and uh, I guess the time came and you were able to be a part of that process and you won and you did an outstanding job and I think 
um, the city is, is going to move forward and continue to move forward with you uh, at the helm. I really, really do. Thank you. Um, I, I think you'll do an outstanding job, and um, you're a great asset uh, um, to City Hall, and uh, I wish you the very best, and I think everybody else does here as Thank well. You. Thank you. Just one last pointer. Uh -huh. Amir is out there. <laughs> Five and a half months he's had the city, and, and he's been moving it forward as well and doing different things. And we've all had the great opportunity, as you know, of working with him um, and watching him try to make some changes. Some of those changes are still going to come into play. Um, but mm -hmm. now you're going to put that other hat back on, and now you're coming back over here. So you've had a chance to wear both and, and, and you know, short time with the other, but it's going to be nice to have you back too, as, as well as you're going to join That being said, I wish everybody healthy and, and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Thank President. you, uh, thank you, Dean. Uh, Council Isaac, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I would just like to also thank our outgoing counselors. Um, it's been a privilege to serve with them. Councillor um, Durenancourt, uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know him, even though we knew him before he was a councillor and got to know him uh, serving here as a councillor with him. So um, I wish him all the best. And uh, Councillor Beauregard, um, it's been a pleasure serving with her as well. And, um, you know, it, I think we, um, we, we have a lot of good things that, that she's going to continue serving in the city. She, um, she is our biggest volunteer most famous volunteer and I know she will continue to volunteer so it's been my pleasure to serve with her as we have many things in common that we have worked towards so I hope that continues that collaboration but I have to say I knew Santa for many years <laughs> but I never imagined that I'd get the chance to serve with them as a city councilor and it's been uh, an honor and a privilege and I've learned a lot in the short few months from them so thank you thank you to all of them and of course our, our future mayor um, we're looking forward to you know the next um, you know the new year 2020 will hold uh, a lot of great things for us but we wouldn't um, I couldn't I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the clerk's office for all they've done the last few months have been very challenging and um, a lot of you know firsts that have happened so they've carried us through and helped us through so thank you mr. clerk and your office um, thank you for all you do for us you're welcome thank you yeah. Constance, we also want to of course we want to thank Aaron and, and Robin for being here but on the finance side we do want to thank Mel and we want to mm -hmm. thank Aaron as yeah. well um, there's a lot of work uh, mm -hmm. going into prep for meetings so um, thank you for everything that you do, Eric and Robin and Tony's staff, and also our Legislative Council, Attorney Resnick as well. Uh, Councilor from Ward 5, please. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, it's, uh, this one gave me the uh, title of Resolve Queen. <laughs> So, <laughs> and he's very pleased that I'm retiring, so he won't have to see so many resolves. But uh, no, in all seriousness, um, there's a whole lot I wrote down here. No, it's not all this. Everybody relax. Um, you know, you, you look at all these different quotes, different things you want to say, and um, it's interesting because um, part of it is if you don't like the road you're walking on, then, you know, start taking another path. But it's kind of interesting because you look at it with, with the city. Um, what was great about about all this is more people than ever before participated in the election process, both as candidates and as voters and as volunteers. And that uh, bodes for some success. We had a lot of challenges, and I'm going to quote my colleague, Councillor Azak, this summer when we, you know, changed to a mayor because of the sudden loss of the former mayor. People came up and were interested in filling in the temporary seat. And she said, look at this, all these other communities have to beg for people. We have people pounding on the doors. And that's, that's a huge attribute to um, the community. I was at a meeting the other morning and they're saying, oh, we gotta promote Brockton. The only people that have to promote Broughton is the people that live here, work here, and a part of everything that makes Broughton what it is. And that, um, as a city councilor, you get to see that. As a volunteer, you get to see that. I set out a goal that I would educate people 
and I believe I did. And I feel good about that. And I just got an award the other night for having almost 50 programs, Ward 5 and 10, and in some instances, Ward 5 and 10 extended. Why? Because you have the right to know what's going on. The more you know, the better off you are. I wanted it to be as transparent as possible, and I worked closely with the media and always will. I said I would do something to change boards and commissions, and um, I got, in, how would I say, I suppose you could call it a little hot water, but no regrets to speaking out on something, and now we actually have a commission with all women and one man on it. So, you know, you don't give up. These things don't happen overnight. I said I would do something about B21, and I worked very hard to do that, and I was very fortunate enough, and my colleague, um, Wynne Farrell, really pushing the issue and continuing to push the envelope on this, because people have a right to know where all their money went. I mean, after all, they worked very hard for it. I served on accounts committee for four years, traffic for two, and real estate for three. I'm telling you, I am so excited that we went forward, we're pushing some issues with traffic. We no longer meet at the police station where you have to fight for a parking space, but at a location where everyone can access. And we have different formats for people to request certain items. I mean, after all, these commissions and boards are to serve you. And real estate, I'm excited that we're really going forward with this um, about us program. And that's, that's important for people to enhance their um, property, et cetera, and um, just make for a better community. As far as the accounts committee, I thoroughly enjoyed serving on that, and I learned an awful lot. And I worked with an awful lot of people, OK? I will continue as a citizen, as I hope all of you do, to fight the topic of affordable housing, continue to push for more economic development, continue to advocate for our schools, our seniors, and our veterans. I mean, I was part of a couple of surveys because it's a huge focus on downtown. And it was amazing how people were so surprised to find out what Brockton really is, that we have these successful companies and corporations that are internationally known because in their minds, they didn't realize all these things. There's some things that you wish that you would have been able to accomplish. Yes, I wish I would have seen more streets paved, but uh, going through a book today, and part of the quote was, patience equals success. So evidently, we're going to have to work a little bit longer on all that. We worked for a historic commission, and I sincerely hope that we will see one, because if you can't respect your past, how can you look forward to the future? One of the things that we were requested, we're very lucky, we have a very, how would I say it, dedicated uh, state delegation that works closely with us. And one of the things we want to see a lot of people have asked about is getting rid of the plastic bags, et cetera. So we look forward to see what the State House does in our community, because that was one of the questions being asked and pushed for while we were on the campaign. I'm going to wind down because everyone's getting antsy here, but let's talk about what people do. And I'm going to highlight. Um, there's certain groups, Coalition for Social Justice, newly formed PACT for Brockton, Brockton Interfaith Community, and the Latino Women's Organization that just work very hard to see great things happen in this community. And um, the dedication of volunteers is incredible. I want to highlight two men that I've had the honor and pleasure of working with, and that's Ken Galligan, and boy, are we fortunate to have such a man that retired as a fire chief and what he does for traffic and zoning board of appeals is incredible. And for Bob Palagi with the um, planning board and uh, the parking authority for all that he's done. And there's two incredible women in this city. There's many incredible women. I'd have to be here for a couple of weeks to talk about all of them. But two that um, really go without saying have just done so much for our city in such a short period of time and that being Lynn Smith. And I mean, all you have to do is go to Frederick Douglass Park or um, the Keith Park to just see some of the things that she's done. And to Patricia Monteith, Pat Monteith, I mean, here she is writing grants and getting the opportunity for science, technology, education, and math to students that are winning awards nationally that come from our city. So again, you know, everyone can say what they want, but a lot of communities can't say all these things. I want to thank um, the auditor's office, 
because they do a whole lot of work. They're so great to us. The city clerk's office, just absolutely incredible. And Shannon, our legal counsel, that's just been really good, um, especially um, the parking authority, because that was a big deal to put up a parking garage and all that went along with it, and you know, Bob and Paula and their team. And I want to wish the best of luck to some people that are taking off and retiring, and I'm not going to let them feel guilty. They deserve it. You know, DPW um, and Larry. I want to thank people in the License Commission, because there's been some heated issues. Um, the fire department, all the way we worked, and the police department, you know, these people that write grants and work closely with you, and Darren and I drive around um, Ward 5 situations where we try to resolve concerns of the residents. And um, anyway, I wish I would have done more. I um, hope that if nothing else, that um, everyone feels a little bit more empowered a little bit more educated, that people have happy holidays. And don't forget that um, this uh, we're free because of our veterans, and we continue to be so because of our soldiers serving here and abroad. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. <laughs> Councillor Lodge, please. Here we go. This one? Well, thank you, Mr. President. Um, where do I start? It is truly uh, an honor for me to be in this chamber and, of course, uh, at your presence in this city. Um, some of you know that um, you know, I've been in this country, at least for now, nine years and a couple of days. And I've known you way before I got elected, and I hope that I will continue to know you once I step out. I could not hope for anything better than serving with you. And I think it goes to show not only the greatness of our diversity, but also what we stand for. When I first came in this country, as some of you know, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anybody. I didn't even know a word of English. But fortunately, the city of Brockton, as I always say, no matter where I am and no matter what I do, opened the door for me. And I will never forget the first time I stepped into the Brockton Public Library where I've learned English as a second language. And this is something that I will cherish. And we got to being an elected official. As you know, I served before I got elected. I served in the House. I served in the Senate. And of course, I work with different organizations within the city. But being an elected official is something that I think is unique and also very complex because it gives people opportunity, if not access, to get to know you from a different level. Some of you in this chamber, I'm assuming, know me now. You know that I stand for justice, and I stand for what is good, and I stand for what is best. As a child who lost his mom at four years old, and as we speak, I'm 29, it's been 25 years since I've been guided by so many people, not only my own family, but also friends. I would be remiss not to thank my dad for not only giving me the opportunity to be in America, but also to be center of my life. My friends, my family, my team, and every single people in this city, especially those who've been here long before me. As you know, this journey began not just as an elected official, but as a young man come from thousands of miles away in the search of opportunities and do what we think is best. Uh, for the past 10 months, have been tested, tried to come across differently in the face of adversity, in the face of challenges, in the face of animosity. I did my best, like Michelle Obama says, when they go high, you go low. And I think some of you will attest to that one. When they go low, you go high. Thank you, Council. Nikasho. But never in my life I question my responsibility as a Brocktonian. As you know, I am an American. I'm proud of it. What I'm most proud of is that I am a Brocktonian, and Brockton is my city, and the United States, as we speak, in my, is my country, because I carry a U.S. passport. One thing that I will say that I think will shock a few people is that my intention has never been 
in the spirit of putting Brooklyn in a bad way. Every single thing that I've been doing for the past nine years in this country, and two years as an elected official, I can honestly say that it's a positive thing for Brooklyn. Not one time, my name has been on the news as somebody who's doing something bad for Brooklyn. I took pride of that, and I'm proud of it. But I couldn't do none of that without you. Some of you, I look up to you. Mr. President, I said it. When I interned for Linda Balzori, I met you there, and I did my best to explain to you how we met. I say hello, you give me a little business guide, and I still have that. But what I've learned so far in government as an elected official is that it is not an easy thing. There are people that love you, and they will love you forever. And there are people that love you. The moment you try to do something different, they will flip. It's OK. It's normal. But one thing that I would like to say, especially to the new one, always remain true to yourself. Always do what you think is best for the people. My paramount, goals, my, my paramount goal as an elected official was not to satisfy one person. It was to satisfy the city of Brockton. Yes, I am Haitian. Like I stated before, I am proud of it. But most importantly, I am an American. And without being in this country, I probably wouldn't be where I am. But beyond that, I assume responsibility. And I want to thank every single one of you for being you, for giving me a reason to hope and a reason to continue to do what I think is best for this country and, of course, this city. The future is bright, I can say that, 29 years old. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I don't know where this journey will end. But one thing that I can promise you, I will always do my best to be on the right side of history, no matter where I am and no matter what I choose to do. As you know, I mean, last election was pretty cruel for all of us. It was tough for my parents. I've never seen my dad sad before, ever. Last election, I saw him solely because of what we know. But whether I serve as an elected official or as a civilian, my commitment, my love for Brockton will never change. And to those of you who went to the poll in 2017, who voted for me to elect me as the first Haitian American elected official in this city, I will forever be grateful for that. I will not be able to serve you as an elected official in the next years. But as a civilian, I promise you that my cell phone's number will never change. And you can call upon me at any given time. And I will do my best to satisfy your needs. Because I believe in Brockton more than you can possibly imagine. It is not sad, because I strongly believe that we have three wonderful people joining the council. I know all of you, and I know you will do a wonderful job. To my colleagues that will be back on the council, I will ask you for one thing. Be true to yourself and understand that. There's a time to smile, any time to do whatever you want. But in the Bible, as you know, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Matthew 7, verse 7. The Bible says, ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, you shall find. A knock, the door shall be opened to you. As a young person myself, I think so far have been following what we demand in this country. Follow the law. Respect yourself and also respect others. Never did I doubt a question, my intention, in regard to serving the people here. Every single vote that I cast, every time that I come here, I come with the same enthusiasm that I came in this country December 6, 2010, because I believe in this place. Because without being in this city, I probably wouldn't be close to where I am. Because the city of Brockton has given me more than you can possibly imagine. But one thing that I would like you folks to focus on, if not to embrace, is our diverse population. Some of them know how to speak English pretty well. Some of them do not. Some of them are legal. Some of them are undocumented. That's the history of America. The basic foundation of this country is the fact that there was a moment in time when there was a few people 
thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away in the search of better life, if not opportunities, came here solely to be free. We accept that ideology many years ago. But in nowadays, as you can see, that we are not in Washington, D.C., some people are questioning it. So far, some people have asked me to go back to my country. America is my country. I don't blame these people because it's normal. It takes courage to do something different. And the president said, Consul Dennis, that he thought I was going to stay here for a long period of time. But he sees that something happened differently. I choose to do it because I want to serve Brockton to the best of my ability. It was nothing solely because I want to show off or I want to prove a point. To my colleague, Council um, Sullivan, the next mayor of Brockton, we spoke before. Not doing this selection, many elections before, and we got to my feeling about certain things that has been going on in this city. So to close this, I want to thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my life for giving me this opportunity to serve with you. Some of you have been serving here more than 14 years. And some of you will continue to serve until you can't anymore. But from the bottom of my heart, I want every single one of you to know that I love you all. And that love will never change. Whether I see you on the street or I talk to you on the phone, my number will not change. But one thing that I will encourage the young people in this city to do, get engaged. Get engaged. Do your best to represent who you are as a person. Because so many times we have been tested by so many issues that makes us feel uneasy. Council Moses Rodriguez, the mayor now, you and I can attest to that one. And sometimes when I'm home, I ask myself, why did I choose to do this? Well, the answer is easy. I choose to do it because Nine years ago, the city of Brockton took a chance on me. And eight years ago, it's my responsibility to take a chance in Brockton. So to the police department, I want to thank the chief for always pick up my phone calls whenever I call you for whatever reason. To the fire department, to every single head department in the city, I want to thank you. And to people that work at City Hall, the clerk, the staff, they have been nothing more than amazing. And I hope our friendship will continue because it was way before I got elected. So with that being said, thank you for this opportunity and thank you for being such a wonderful colleague. And I would be remiss not to say something in Haitian Creole. Pour tout monde ici qui a regardé là, voici. Je dis en ce dernier jour madame Irie, c'est un plaisir, c'est une opportunité, c'est un privilège pour me te servir nous. Mais malheureusement, nous n'avons pas passé dans l'élection magistrale, nous n'avons pas passé. À présent, nous sommes supposés aller. Mais, may God bless America, may God bless the city of Brockton, and may God bless all of you. I love you all. Thank you, folks. Councils, again, I'll, just, I'll be really brief. I just want to thank each and every one of you for your service to the city of Brockton. Uh, again, this is, this is the end of an era for me, but it's a, a new page. Uh, and, and I look forward to working with you and for you uh, as the next mayor. Um, the relationship between the city council, the school committee, and the mayor is, is poised for greatness. And we always have to remember, we're all duly elected the same way, to better the citizens and the daily lives of the people that we represent. And I was thinking today, uh, and I do want to thank just to several people. I want to thank um, the following counselors, Tom Brophy, Todd Petty, Jay Stewart, Shana Bonds, Dennis Denapoli, Paul Stadinsky, Michelle Dubois, Michael Brady, and Chris McMillan. And I also want to thank Mayor Jim Harrington, Linda Belzotti, the late Bill Carpenter, and my dear friend, uh, Mayor Moises Rodriguez. And we can't forget our esteemed attorney now, Judge Mark Gilday. Mark was here all the time. He gave us wisdom. He gave us advice, and he gave us sound legal suggestions. And now it's been carried on with Shannon. Um, and ultimately, counselors, I think Gene and Ann summed it up. We all run at a great detriment to our personal lives. 
our family, in my case, my three children and my wife, but we all have a shared vision for a better community, the place that we call home. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank, of course, the fire and the police and everybody that works here at City Hall. But there's really, really great things ahead for the city of Brockton. This is just an end of an era for some of us, but we're not going away because this is home. So again, I'm just going to wish each and every one of you a blessed holiday season, and 2020 is going to be some good times. So with that being said, anything else before us? I entertain a motion then, Councillor. Uh, Mr. President, I move to go into executive session to discuss pending litigation against the city. It's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? There's <clears throat> a motion on the floor to go into executive session to discuss pending litigation because discussing uh, pending litigation uh, in open meeting may be detrimental to the city council's position. The motion does require a roll call vote. Okay. Uh, and if we could do that, Madam Clerk, for a roll call, please. Um, ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. It's 11 in the affirmative. It's affirmative. City Council councils will uh, not will, will not be returning. We're going to executive session, but with a caveat, we are also going to be having a caucus this evening. And I want to define this so people know exactly what the caucus is. The purpose is to elect a city council president for the year 2020 and seat placement. Um, but bear in mind, the caucus is a, a tertiary vote tonight. The ratification of that vote tonight gets ratified at the swearing-in ceremony, which is by January charter 6th. mandated the first Monday, 10 a.m. In this case, it's January 6th of 2020 at 10 a.m. That vote will be ratified at that time. We're going to be going to executive session. We'll please use that room. Thank you. Okay.